Hi, welcome to another video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm introducing this 5 volts to 3.3 volts uh, voltage regulator for Arduino. This is based on AMS1117. Uh, it can handle up to 1 ampere. The size is very tiny. Also, we are going to test it practically by connecting electronic load to it to see if it can handle up to 1 amp. Means it cannot handle one amp. So this is a module. As you can see here, uh, we have two inputs, VN. So this is a ground that's a, a positive that you connect. There is an LED for the power. This is the actual regulator, and this is the two terminals are for the output. So the length of it is 26 millimeter. So the width is 11.2 millimeter and the thickness is 2.8 millimeter. The input is connected to Arduino and then the output is now connected to this voltmeter which shows 3.29, which is good. Now I've connected this to the pi uh, five volts power supply and this is now the output is connected here. As you can see, it reads 3.3 volts. So let me set this to one amp. and then the voltage is for three and the voltage three volts that's good so i'm gonna connect it and we will see the current that is drawn will be here so the voltage dropped to three two point four volts and that's uh, shut off so it means it cannot handle one amp so it means it cannot handle one amp I accidentally bumped the power up and unfortunately this died so I have to get another module of this before we can do the test. Okay as you can see now the device is connected and the output of this one is connected to the load. Now I have set this to mm, I've set this to one amp and then let me do just see if it can supply one amp. So I will turn this on. If the voltage goes, if the voltage goes beyond 2.2 volts, this will disconnect. So this is the output from the device 2.3. We read here 3.1, 3.2, that's due to the uh, resistance in wire. And I'm touching this to see. Extremely hot. It's as if it's burning. So this voltage drop. Okay, so the, the data sheet, the data sheet that says it has protected against the short circuit and thermal overload so which means that if it gets heat, uh, hot then this if it gets hot it will shut off automatically and also if we have a short circuit at outside it will shut off so for that reason this was shut off and one ampere is not possible so let me go to the uh, make it 0 0.8 And then now, so then now this is drawing 0 0.8 and look at the voltage 3.23, some voltage drop. We will see now if it gets, if the, uh, so 0 0.8, no good, not working. So uh, let me go 0. 7 or 0 0.6 I'm gonna jump more it's a little hot but that's fine we want to reach faster to the result because even if you wait you will face the same thing went to 20 let's see if it goes to 19 so that's 17 so dropped more so that's 17 so dropped more 
meaning 600 milliampere is no good go for the 0 0.5 let's see how much voltage drops 0 0.28 so here 0 0.25 that's very good very stable with comparing to that to the previous value so now let's see if this we see any variation or drop in here not as hot as used to be because we see the variation here the heat reflects how fast this changes so it seems at 6 0 0.6 600 milliampere it lasts longer so 0 0.5 should be just fine on the back still that's good so that's it so this device can handle up to 0 0.5 not more than that with this module unless you have some kind of fan or something to cool it down or the area that air, air is uh, circulated it gets cooled down it might be able to handle 100 milliampere or more but without a heat sink it cannot do like one amp no way with current um, packaging so that's it thank you for watching please thumb up the video please share it and also if you have any question or comment please post it at the comment section under the video i appreciate it now let's just for fun increase the current i'm making it one shut down making it nine so 900 milliampere voltage drops significantly 